Mars, also known as the Red Planet, has been viewed by man for thousands of years, but it wasn't until 1609 that Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei managed to set up a better view of the planet through primitive telescopes. Over time, with major technological advancements, we've discovered so much about this intriguing planet, and a lot of those discoveries have conspiracy theorists very excited. Here are weird things found on Mars. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Eric from American Eye, and I'm today's guest host on Tall Tank, but more on that later. For now, let's get on to that video. Number 32, Face Off. By far, one of the creepiest images is this one that was taken in 1976 by NASA's Viking 1 orbiter. Judging by the image, you can just imagine how conspiracy theorists love this one. It's easy to spot the faces with some believing it to look like a young Elvis. Alien monument? Deceased souls that used to live on Mars? I have bad news. It's just rocks. Number 31, Men Are From Mars. And so are blue sunsets. How exquisite is this? Sunsets and sunrises on Mars are tinted blue and are rather small in comparison to what we see here on Earth. Number 30, Life on Mars. With a diameter of 4,222 miles, there are bound to be hundreds of rather obscure rock formations all over the planet. The one here in this photo is no exception. An iguana-shaped rock was picked up by NASA's Curiosity rover in 2013. More bad news, just a rock again. Number 29, what planet are you from? As you'll see from our list today, bizarre items have been discovered on Mars. And while many of them are just rock formations that resemble everyday items, this particular rock is different to the others and has been named as Arn's Knob. According to the Curiosity's laser firing spectrometer, they found the rock is made from iron and nickel, which you could usually find in meteorites. Number 28, the Red Planet. Proof of an alien civilization that lived on Mars? Quite possible, according to conspiracy theorists. NASA's Curiosity rover captured this image of a perfectly formed pyramid that's about the size of a sedan. Again, it's just been labeled as a rock formation, but you have to admit, the shape is too perfect for it to be too random. Paranormal Crucible on YouTube states that this rock formation is the result of intelligent design and certainly not a trick of light and shadow. Number 27, what on Earth? You'd expect to unearth this on Earth, but certainly not on Mars. It's apparently just a rock again, but the resemblance to a femur bone is uncanny. Scientists have blamed the shape of the rock on erosion by wind and water. But let's be honest, if it was human remains, it would have made international headlines. Number 26, frozen in time. Up in Mars, you'll find ice caps at the pole just like Earth, except that the ice caps on Mars are made up of frozen carbon dioxide. The southern solar cap reflects the most sunlight than any other part of the planet, and some sites suggest that the ice will not be there forever and will soon be gone. Number 25, Butterfingers. If Curiosity has captured a femur, perhaps this is the missing finger that belongs to the body. This image was snapped in 2012, and it even looks like it has a fingernail. Want more bad news? Rocks again. Number 24, let your imagination run wild. Creepy is one word to describe the skeleton shape spotted in this image. Once again, conspiracy theorists lap this stuff up, and now they have more proof that aliens exist. Dare I say it, rocks yet again, except this time with the help of dust and lighting. Number 23, lost and found. If you've ever wondered where Donald Trump got his hair inspiration from, maybe it was this image that was taken on Mars in 2009. Yep, it looks exactly what Donald Trump is sporting on the top of his head. Just rocks and shadows though? You betcha. Number 22, crack up. You might be surprised that our next entry doesn't involve rocks. These spire-like formations take place in the spring when the frozen carbon dioxide in the polar caps change from solid to gas. Number 21, rock heart. More rocks, I'm afraid so. But at least this time, there's a tad more mystery attached to these. You've heard about Stonehenge, no doubt. Well, in this image, you can see the Mars equivalent known as Marshenge. Alien hunters are loving this one and believe it to be the remnants of a past alien civilization that lived on Mars. Number 20, gone fishing. On Mars? I highly doubt it. The Curiosity rover has once again piqued our curiosity by capturing this image of a rock that looks a lot like a fish. NASA has, of course, been asked many, many times about the possibility of finding fossils on Mars. And the reply is standard. Mars will never have enough oxygen in its atmosphere and elsewhere to support more complex organisms. Thus, large fossils are not likely. Sorry to disappoint. Number 19, sticking to the facts. 
This one is 100% true, and technically it involves rocks, but they're a part of the mountain, which are said to be the tallest of the entire solar system, and they're located on Mars. Olympus Mons is 16 miles high, which is about three times the height of Mount Everest. Number 18, Rat Attack. Did you ever think that rocks could be this convincing? In this image, a Mars rat was spotted by the Curiosity rover back in 2013, and the rat became so popular on social media that it even received its own Twitter account. Number 17, let's head to the movies. Star Wars junkies will love this one. Does a black object in this image remind you of something? Perhaps the Star Destroyer? This super fine was spotted by UFO expert Scott Warning. It's quite possible that NASA is keeping quiet about a crash UFO. We could only dream, right? Number 16, now you see it, now you don't. Or in this case, now you see it, and now you do. These are images taken in the exact same spot right after each other. In the second image, you see a protrusion, which some say looks like a jelly donut. I don't know, perhaps the jelly donuts I've eaten are slightly better looking, but you have to admit that it's a bit weird that it just suddenly appeared. Number 15, a storm is a ruin. When I see this incredible image of a three mile high dust storm that takes place on Mars, I have to wonder if the 200,000 people that signed up for the Mars One expedition actually did any research on the planet. They've narrowed it down to only 100 people though, and it will be interesting to see how many of those make it to Mars in 2030, the year this amazing expedition is set to take place. Number 14, we will rock you. Just when you thought the rocks were laid to rest, we have some more news for you. The ones in this image, however, resemble pretty creepy skulls. It's easy to see why many people believe that Mars used to support life at one point or another. This particular shot was taken in 2016. Number 13, stir it up. NASA's Curiosity rover has yet again brought forward something puzzling. This time, an image of a long-handled spoon just lying about. Perhaps it used to belong to the person whose skull we featured in our previous post? Who knows? Number 12, easier to explain, but only ever so slightly. This photo was taken from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2014. It looks like a waffle island, but this is actually an area where lava is known to flow. The lava pushes to the surface, creating these bizarre patterns on the surface. Number 11, river deep, valley wide. The longest valley in the solar system is located in, you guessed it, Mars. Valles Marinis is almost 2,500 miles long, which is roughly the same distance between San Diego and Philadelphia. Number 10, you can leave your hat on. So we found a femur, a spoon, and a skeleton's face. Well now, in this photo, we have the helmet to go with it. It's too much of a coincidence to be just more than rocks, right? According to the experts, nope, 100% hard rock. But how do they know? Number nine, rock the boat. I'm sure theorists were hoping to do just that with the find of this image, but it wasn't to be. This huge hunk of metal is thought to either be a piece of a meteorite or a rock that's been polished by the wind. Number eight, red, orange, green. The Curiosity got this great image of a rock-shaped traffic light on Mars. Curiosity has been exploring Mars since 2011 and is about the size of a car. It's interesting to note how Curiosity got its name. A NASA panel was put in place to judge a nationwide contest to name the rover. 9,000 people entered their ideas and they love the name Curiosity, submitted by a sixth grader. She won a trip to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. She signed her name on the rover where it still sits today. Number Number seven, let's play ball. The ball in this image may be a bit more challenging to use though, because it's pretty solid. Some believe it's a cannonball from some supposed battle that took place on the red planet. The truth isn't nearly as exciting. The object is tiny, less than a quarter inch, and is made up of sodium, calcium sulfate, and magnesium. Number six, flower power. Wouldn't it be magical if this turned out to be real? The image of a flower was captured on film in 2012 by our very own curiosity. And despite the fact that we know it's not a genuine flower, scientists can't give an exact answer on what it actually is. Number five, dinosaurs alive. I know I've been going on about rocks a lot, and the object pictured here is probably just that, but it's hard to believe that 100%. It looks so much like the remains of a dinosaur. Everything is there, and if this image was captured on Earth, there would have been no hesitation in believing that it was real. But because it's on Mars, we're talking about here, it's plain rocks. Just a real shame. Number four, one woman show. If you squint your eyes and use your imagination, you too can see what it looks like a woman in black standing on the horizon. We can thank shadows and of course rocks for this fabulous image. Number three, rock bottom. In terms of being believable, this image comes pretty close. That rock looks exactly like a squirrel. Wouldn't you agree? Number two, copy and paste. Here you will find an image that was taken by the Mars Opportunity Rover, which looks a lot like a Neo-Assyrian attendant got 
Tiamat statue, as seen in the image to the right. Was this perhaps left by an ancient alien civilization, or is it just our overactive imagination? I'm opting for the former. And number one, last but not least, this woman is seen just parking off all by herself, minding her own business. What do scientists think about this image? You guessed it, rocks. If you liked that video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like me, maybe you can check out a video over on American Eye, right over here. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.